What's up Team DMS? In today's video, I'm going to be using Sensational Premium 2. Yes, it is pack hair and we are doing uh, not really a quick weave, but we are doing a some hair in between her own hair for fullness and length. I also colored some hair that I had laying around because she wanted some blue. Um, because, well, I wanted to give her some blue because she's having a grand opening and those are her colors. So that was like perfect. So we're going to start off by parting out the perimeter or the part that we want to add the hair in. Um, I really can't explain where to part the hair, but you can kind of use the temples as a guide to where you want to part the hair off. And um, that'll just um, kind of, you know give you an idea sometimes it can be a little wider sometimes it can be um you know not as wide just depending on the face shape of the client and things of that nature Me twice. so i've already started um to part off her hair and as you can see she has some thinning in the middle and yes it is because of the extensions but this is one of my clients who does not give a damn, so to speak. She wants what she wants. Um, she likes having her hair fuller in the top. So this is what you have to deal with. Um, she doesn't care. Her hair is still, you know, in a great state. And honestly, she had stopped wearing the weave, but it's her birthday as well. It's her um, restaurant's grand opening. So we're going to add the pieces so as you can see i'm just going straight across with the hair um and then we just kind of go in a circular motion around and just complete it off you want to make sure that you have the the first few tracks going across first so that when you get to the closure part it's kind of to the back and not like right in the top of her head because that wouldn't look right So she is bonded in and we're going to go ahead and start cutting the perimeter of her hair just to get um, the shape and you know I like to do outlines first and then go ahead and do the inside of the hair or um, the profile or whatever you want to call it first and then you go ahead with the initial cut and I'm using a tinkle razor this razor is available at your local beauty supply store if you don't have one um, in your area I do have a link in my Amazon um, store in my description box and it just gives uh, links to various items that I use in the salon throughout the day and things that I use here on YouTube as well and I'm doing what we call um, point cutting uh, I just don't want she's getting like a spiky look so you don't want to cut straight across because that would look crazy as hell so <laughs> you just want to make sure that you're layering the hair all over it's pretty much a 45 degree cut all over and we're pretty much just um notch cutting it i want it kind of short um so it'll last longer because she does have various festivities going on this weekend so just make sure you're cutting it well and um not cutting it straight across and having those hard lines So now I'm going to take my thinning shear or, or texturizing shear, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just going back over that cut and just taking out more lines so that the hair is even more spiky when I get ready to curl it. So I'm not taking off any of the weight, so to speak, but I am just taking off those um, tips to give it a more um, textured and um, 
texture look and spiky look. So with this, with this way, it looks spiky before you even start to curl it. Now I'm going to take a little bit of main oil. Main oil is available at mainlifestudio.com. You guys know that I usually do not put oil on weaves because it does weigh the hair down. However, we are going to curl her hair and um, the oil is much needed. I am spraying a little bit of Design Essentials Formations. And as I said before, all of these products are available in my Amazon store um, recommendations, which is located in the description box below where you can purchase all of these products if you don't have them already or have direct access to them. And the flat iron that I'm using is my very own flat iron. It is the Main Life Collection half inch flat iron. It is ceramic. I'm not going to do much speaking as um, while I'm curling because the curling is pretty much self-explanatory. But I did want to go ahead and give a shameless plug for the flat iron. <laughs> and you can, um, I have the link to that in there in my description box below as well and like i said you can get it at mainlifestudio.com and it is great
this comb I got at my local beauty supply store. I did try to find one on Amazon, but I will try to find a link. I found one before and then I lost the link. I'm just spraying the camera's dry oil on her hair um, because I just don't want it, you know, too, too weighed down. And it's a light hold as well. It, I use it for various reasons. Um, but I think I like the little hand rake comb. I don't know what it's called, but uh, it's, it's a little cute comb. Um, and it gives a different uh, comb out than a regular rake comb. I wish the ends were a little bit more pointy. Oh, yeah. And that is a bedhead wax stick. It's great for the edges. So I am going to take a little bit of high beam spray just because her hair is a little fine. I probably could have left it the way it was, but you know, hey, I think a little extra. There's nothing wrong with doing a little extra. <laughs> it depends on you uh, just to fill in um, her hair. Her hair is very is very fine so that worked for her if you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe ring that bell to get future notifications i love you guys so so very much and i'll see you again for the next video you guys asked for something different and i gave it to you <laughs>